Okay. I'm in the middle of nowhere, also known as Oregon. I'm at a cave. I don't even know the name of it. It's funny. It's just called Ice Cave on the maps. The cavers I'll talk to, they don't even know about this cave, which is ironic because you'd think cavers would know about a cave. But anyway, before I go inside the cave, I want to show you the outside of the cave because it's a little bit interesting around here. Notice the ground is not entirely flat. Well, you'd be surprised. Sometimes there's a cave and really, really flat ground and sometimes it's in the middle of a mess. So, you notice I'm next to a rocky cliff that's at least 10 feet tall. And I'll, though there's not a lot of moisture, you notice there are some moss here. Like, uh, notice how dark it is back there. I'm not, I haven't tried climbing back here yet. This is my first time here in a couple of years, like three years. But anyway, notice the bright colored lichen growing on the rock. I think this is the main way in. Let's see if I can pan down there. So once I'm done looking around the outside, I'm going to see if I can climb in that way. Although if I remember right, there's a lot of crawling in this cave. But before I go anywhere else, let me look at this. See, there's a gap between the rocks. It's four feet down. That's obviously a dead end. Here's another gap, too small for people. Let's see if I can go over here. Oh, wow. That's like at least 10 feet down. I'm a Santa Claus would have trouble getting up and down this hole. The moral of the story is watch where you're going. Should always do that anyway, but you'd be amazed how many people consider that to be optional. Same thing. It looks like there's a little crawl way back there. I don't know if I'll bother to crawl back there. I have knee pads on, but we'll see how long I want to stay here. The forecast is for really hot weather today, so that would explain why I came to an ice cave, now wouldn't it? Okay, so there's the... Uh, right here by the parking area. Oh, there's a lizard. Hi, lizard. Anyway, notice the ground. It's mostly dirt, but then with rocks sticking up. Okay, good idea. So let me go over here. To the untrained eye, this rock is really boring. But let me tell you something here. see moss like that you gotta be suspicious well, this is interesting let me go back over here I think I just missed my turn off huh, look at this where the ground bulges up looks like it might actually be a little surface tube here yeah too small for people but looks to me like there's a hole in the ground may not benefit me any but that the wildlife doesn't complain but before you get disappointed look at this I could feel cold air coming through there it's at least six feet down I don't know if it'll be safe for me to try to climb down here or not it doesn't seem like a particularly bright idea if I look in this direction I can't even see the bottom that's what I'm talking about so when you're looking for caves be careful because you might find one <laughs> anyway all right so back up this away same thing look at this it's mostly barren ground here and then look at this it's another little hole Ooh, it's like this one's wow i feel cold air coming out so this darn well could be a way in i'm not going to crawl in just now I'm going to explore the outside first. But yeah, let's say that's on my to-do list. But also notice over here, just ahead of me, there's another little hole. It's only six inches in diameter. Solid rock. But I do not see the bottom. Okay, I do. It's three feet down. 